How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get abs easy and fast for kids. So in this video, I will show you my top three favorite exercises to help you get a six pack. So exercise number one, and I will show you guys all of these exercises. The first exercise that we are going to do is going to be flutter kicks. So I will show you guys how to do these. Flutter kicks are a staple for my six pack abs. Most people don't train their lower abs. If you don't train your lower abs, you will never get them. So all we're going to do for flutter kicks, my friends, is lay on the ground. Now what we want to do is put our hands beside us. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate our legs like so. A key when doing these is never allow your legs to touch the floor. They should always stay above the floor at all times. And this is all we're gonna do, you guys. Aim for at least 30 seconds. If you guys can do more, that's perfect. But try to get at least 30 seconds. Do your ab exercises every other day. This allows your abs to get some form of rest. Yes, you can do them every day, but I recommend doing every other day just to give them a little bit of rest, you guys. So the next, so those trained are lower two abs. These, this next exercise is gonna train the top two abs. Now, I love this exercise. This is another staple, you guys. I'll rotate this with flutter kicks and some other exercises, but we're going to do rolling ab crunches. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands behind us like so. Now, what we're going to do is just simply crunch up like so. This puts all the pressure on the top two abs, you guys. Phenomenal exercise. Then on the way down, we're really gonna control the movement. So down, now up again. Oof. Come down. Come up. Try to get at least 20 repetitions. If you can get 20, then what you can do is you can add weight, you guys. You can hold this. So you can hold this behind your head. Come up with it. Crunch. This is going to make the movement a little bit harder. And then do that if you can do 20 reps. Hold the 10 pound plate, then just keep going 15, 20, 25 pounds. This will build your core muscles extremely good. You guys trust me on this. The next exercise that we will be performing is going to be the side plank, you guys. This will work your oblique muscles. Most people do not train those the obliques. If you don't train them, you won't get them to tie into your abs. So your obliques are up here, you guys. So all we're going to do is a side plank, you guys. You can see all the pressure is going to be right here. So when we're maintaining this position, the key to doing it is your hips stay off of the ground. You never want your hips to come down like this. If your hips are on the floor, it's pointless, you guys. Our hips need to be off, and you can feel all the pressure right in our obliques, you guys. So this is perfect. Maintain this for as long as possible. Try to get at least 30 seconds. If not, that's fine. Work your way up. It's also good to do the other side as well. Just don't do the left side. Make sure you do your right side as well. Make sure they're both evenly developed and trained, you guys. So end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video, share it. Again, if you're interested in online personal training, comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. Thank you.